Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make an inclined ice dyed heart shirt. The shirt has been washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer and so it's just barely damp. It's also turned inside out. I'm beginning by centering my shirt and I know this part's going to go really fast. So down below this video in the description is a link to another video which shows how to center a shirt. Essentially what I'm doing is getting the center of the front of the shirt and the center of the back of the shirt right up next to each other. That way after the shirt is dyed, the front is going to look more uniform and symmetrical and so will the back. Okay, so now that the shirt is centered, it's time to draw on the heart. To draw the heart onto the shirt, I'm going to use a stencil that I've made out of a piece of plastic cutting board. I'm using a washable marker to trace around the stencil, and then I'm going to fan fold that line. I personally like to start at the top of a heart when I fan fold. I find that it's easier for me to make the curve in the heart right at the beginning. Once I have it fan folded, I'm going to tie it up with some sinew. Sinew has a wax coating, so whenever I tie a line and I pull it really tight, it will lock down on itself and not allow any of the dye to get under that area. That's what will give the white line around this heart. I like to add an additional line of sinew on the outside of the heart, just as an extra design element and to help define the heart a little bit better. The rest of the shirt I'm going to fan fold and I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. Since I'm inclined dyeing this shirt, I'd like the dye to be able to move down the shirt, so I don't really want the dye restricted by sinew lines. That's why I'm just holding the folds in place with rubber bands. You could also use some kite string for this if you'd prefer. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to incline ice dye this shirt. So I've put the shirt inside of a piece of vinyl guttering and I've put one end of the guttering down inside of a plastic tub. The other end is hanging over the end of the tub and so the shirt is at an incline. After I'm finished applying the dye, I'm going to move the tub down to the floor and add another container underneath the end of the guttering to give the shirt a greater incline. 
I'm going to dye the heart portion of the shirt with some liquid dye. I'm using Dragon Fruit from Dharma Trading Company. I really should have gone ahead and just dyed the end or the heart area on a rack because the dye ended up running quite a bit. For this shirt, it didn't really matter a lot since I was inclined ice dyeing it, so I want the dye to run anyway. But for next time, I'll dye that area over a rack. The area just below the sinew lines, I'm using Orange MXR from Custom Colors. Then just below that, I'm using the Powdered Dragon Fruit from Dharma Trading Company. And I'm going to add a couple more lines of that down the shirt. In between the bottom two lines of dragon fruit, I'm going to add a little bit more of the orange. In between the top two dragon fruit lines, I'm going to add a line of amethyst from Dharma Trading Company. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some additional soda ash. I'm adding the additional soda ash so that as the ice melts and runs through the shirt, I want to make sure I still have plenty in the shirt to react with the dye. I'm not adding additional soda ash though to the heart portion that I dyed with the liquid dye. Then I'm loading on some ice and here again, I'm not going to add ice to the heart portion. And then I'm going to move my tub over to the floor. As you can see, I've added the other tub underneath the guttering to make it at a greater incline. After all the ice melted on the front side of the shirt, I came back and checked the shirt and the color had gone through really well. However, there was still just a little bit of undissolved dye left on top. So I went ahead and added another very light layer of ice. Then I continued to allow the shirt to process and overall, I think it processed about 48 hours. Then I took it to the sink and began rinsing it in cold water and gradually warmed the water up to hot. When most of the excess dye was removed from the shirt, I threw it in the washing machine along with some Dharma's textile detergent and I washed it in hot water, dried it, and this is what our shirt looks like. I really like this color combination. Each time I use it, I'm reminded how well I think that the orange and purple and pink work together. When I checked this shirt to see whether or not the dye had come all the way through, it looks like I had a little bit of darker pink on my gloves. And so that's what made the weird shape on the inside of the heart. To me, it kind of looks like two eyes and a nose. So hey, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.